Welcome to you, my name's Dale, and this is Dale's Addiction. Today, I wanted to share with you my Fendachi purchase and what's coming up at Fendi. I have the scoop on the next drop coming mid-June in Australia. Some of you already have access to it and have been sharing some beautiful pictures online. So I'm going to show you a bit of an insight into what's exciting about this next drop as well. I'm also including in this video a little bit of a how-to and a shout out to a fellow YouTuber. So stay tuned. So Fendachi. Uh, <laughs> Let me just tell you a little bit about it because a lot of you have been contacting me on Instagram saying, Dale, we haven't seen your Fendachi unboxing yet. What's going on? And I wasn't going to do an unboxing. Um, Fendachi, I did a review of the Fendachi runway show back in November, I think. I did a video on that. I'll link it above and had a bit of fun with that. Uh and there was a lot going on and I'm not a big fan of Versace um, and so for me it was more an appreciation of the swap and how amazing and fun and vivid and artistic all of the pieces were. And back when Fendachi had been called for pre-order was when I didn't have an essay at Fendi anymore. My um, Brisbane SA had gone on leave for a long period of time, which I didn't know. I was waiting for the call for the pre-order. It never came. Uh, then I got the made-to-order invitation through my friend Nadia. Hey, Nadia. And uh, they were talking about the pre-order for Fendachi had already happened. And I'm like, what? What? How did I miss out on this? And so then I got an opportunity to have a look a little bit earlier than the release in May, so probably April, at these tiny little pictures, which I'll insert over here, that are really grainy and bad quality, and you just can't kind of make out what was... Sorry about that. You can't kind of make out what the runway piece was and connect it to these little pictures. It was so hard. And to put down a full deposit for things that uh, I wasn't really sure about or couldn't see was a bit hard. So I just left it. There was a couple of pieces that weren't going to be either put into production or come to Australia. So I was like, okay, of course, typical. Then as they got closer to the connection, connection? To the collection launching on the 12th, my fabulous friend down at Fendi Queens Club, hey Lily, um, organised a FaceTime with me to show me the pieces that had come into store before the launch. And I had an opportunity to look at everything that they had that was kind of, you know, spoke to me and my style. And there was just nothing that I really fell in love with. Um, there was one peekaboo, but it was in the medium size uh, and it had this beautiful pink and gold uh, Baroque print on the inside, just like everything you want from a peekaboo. Crisp white, chic outside, fun, playful inside, a great nod to the collection. But it was a medium and I already have a white peekaboo, so I was like, oh. It came in a small size in the pink um, I'll put photos in here for you to see and I deliberated on that one for quite a bit but the only reason that I was buying it was because it was Fendachi and I thought I don't need to deal with FOMO I don't need to buy things um, for that reason if the right piece comes up the right piece, piece comes up so from that FaceTime, there was one piece that was really interesting to me, and that's the piece I'm going to share with you today. I'll just get the box. <laughs> it's very small. It might give away what it is. Um, so this is the little bit of Fendachi packaging that I received, which was quite fun. It's very beautiful. Everyone talks about it. Um, I've got a little tag inside, and yes, I have opened this because I've been playing with it. Um, and I got, as you could probably guess, the tobacco pink wrappy with the gorgeous Baroque pattern on it. Now these little cherubs, a lot of people either love or hate them. 
I love how playful they are on this piece. Um, to me, this was a perfect piece of the Fendarchi collection because I loved the pinks. I loved the menswear that came through with these pinks and tobacco and the Baroque print. Um, I love Cassie's jacket, Cassie Thorpe's jacket that she got. It's gorgeous. Uh, but, you know, the ready-to-wear, I didn't get in to pre-order that one. Um, and this was available and a taste of the collection. So I have ordered something else. And I ordered it when the collection went live online and I got an email a week later saying that there was no stock, even though I paid for it, <laughs> um, and that they are looking to source one. Um, it's been over a week since I received that email, so I replied and asked for an update and I got the same email sent back to me. So it's not looking good. Uh but I'm not going to tell you what it is because I just got a message from another friend of mine saying that she just got an order saying hers had been fulfilled, an email saying her order had been fulfilled. So there is still hope. So this Rappi, I was chatting to one of you on Instagram last night um, and you had just bought a Fendi Peekaboo Celeria and in Florence of all places and said that you absolutely loved it and you bought a rappy and did I have any tips on using a rappy and I said well I might be able to incorporate that into my next video because you know I knew that I was going to be unboxing my Fendachi rappy um, because I wanted this because I thought it would go well with my black and my white peekaboo so I'm not going to show you all the techniques but I am going to show you one technique which is a really quick one and I'm going to refer you to a YouTuber that I found whilst researching how to tie a Fendi Rappi. Now her name is Malena Matisse. Um, I'm going to link her channel below. She was taught these three ways by her Fendi essay when she purchased her bag in Venice and I just sat down and did it and went, wow. That was easy and I never knew to do it that way. So I've done it a couple of the traditional ways. Um, I'll insert the pictures over here. So the first way that I've done it is simply to leave a little tag out, a little tail, sorry, um, and wrap it around the handle of my peekaboo and leave a tail at the other end. You can see that it's not that even. Um, I've done that on my black bag. I've also finished instead of with a tail with a bow on the black bag. And I've also put it on my white peekaboo as well, so you can see that just with the tails on each side. That one probably looks a little bit more even. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's a patience game doing these rappies. Um, and it looks great on both of my Fendi peekaboos. Now, this last one that I want to show you is the one that I learned. And basically, you... Well, now that I've showed you this, I can actually remove the tags. So this is probably going to trigger some people, but I am going to just snip off the care tags underneath the Fendachi. So um, let me just do that. Ooh. Always really annoys me that they put these tags on scarves and things like that because um, oh, that was relatively easy because you're so worried about damaging them so I've taken off the big care tag and I'll leave the Fendachi tag on and we'll see how that goes if that looks yucky then we'll cut that one off too so I'll quickly show you how I do this and then I'm going to get into what's coming from Fendi I'll put a timestamp when I'm going to start talking about the new Fendi collection if you're not interested in this quick demo on how to tie a rappy okay so to tie your rappy you want to put the rappy around the handle of your peekaboo like that and then just take it down to one side so that it's facing you like this. Okay. 
Okay, so there we have it. And I think that little tag is going to have to come off because that's just going to annoy me. But what I really like about this method is it almost looks plaited and it's very three-dimensional and I like the texture. And you also don't have to worry about kind of keeping your um, wrappy even across the top of the bag because with the minis, there's quite a lot of fabric to cover a little mini. So that was my favorite technique that was shared on that video. Um, the video will be linked in the description box below. There is no reason to reinvent the wheel when somebody already has a really great comprehensive video. So uh, please go and check out Malena's video. Okay, so I'm excited to bring you a little sneaky peek into Fendi's June drop. Now, this drop is like I had an opportunity to give Fendi's creative team some tips about what I would like to see from a second spring summer drop or a second Fendachi drop. I'm not kind of sh I'm not really sure where it fits in to the scheme of things, but it's got my name all over it. Which is also why I'm happy that I didn't spend up for Fendachi because there are some beautiful, beautiful pieces in this. So I'll stop teasing you and just share. I'm going to start from the smallest to the largest. So uh, it looks as though the Fendi Nano Baguette is definitely making its way into the foundations of the brand. There's been Nano Baguettes released every year since I got my teeny little pink one, every year, every season since I got my teeny little pink one, and it looks like they're going to continue. In this season, there are four Nano Baguettes that I want to talk about. Oh, the first two are just divine. So I'm going to be looking at my phone and I'll pop the pictures up here. So the first one I want to share with you is a woven raffia nano baguette with black leather trim. Now this is an absolutely gorgeous bag. It's got the oversized buckle with the raffia um, coming through the buckle and a big plaited leather handle that is detachable. This will also come with the thin chain. So this one also comes with the little loop on the back where you can attach it as a charm or to a belt loop as well as the little chain. Now the new chains are adjustable so you can actually you know change the length whereas mine is one of the originals and it's a long chain. It's also detachable but there's no real need to. You can just pop it inside of the bag. So you'll be able to carry this bag by that beautiful leather handle or you'll be able to link it onto a bag as a charm or your belt or you'll be able to wear it on the shoulder or crossbody with the little gold chain. So a really versatile little piece. Now the good news is if you're not a fan of raffia and black because it's a little bit heavy for summer like me, you might like this beautiful tan option. Now this is one that I'll be looking at very closely because I think this is just gorgeous. It's really, really beautiful. Um, I can see that leather strap potentially working with my Fendi multicolor pick uh baguette that's what it's called um, so potentially that could be a great purchase for me and might be coming into my collection now for all you sequin lovers out there don't worry there's going to be some nanos for you as well now you may have noticed that in addition to Fendi bringing the raffia they're also bringing the lilac two things that I absolutely adore in handbags and adore from Fendi. Now you might say, but Dale, you already have this beautiful lilac mini baguette. Yeah, I do. But so what? <laughs> so in the nano section, uh, there is a gorgeous sequined lilac nano. Now this is just a beautiful bag. It's got that sparkly interior, just like the um, Fendi purple rain baguette where the inside of the buckle is actually all sparkly and beautiful and it has the gold hardware it doesn't have the additional strap like the raffia ones do but it does have that longer adjustable gold chain that you can wear crossbody or on the shoulder this one is also coming in a striking white sequin with the gold hardware and this is just going to be a beautiful fresh pop, um, something that's pretty timeless. So if you're someone that doesn't really like a pop of colour but you want something fun, 
this white one is going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, let's move up the sizes. So we've already talked about lilac being one of the great colors of this collection. Well, if you do not watch Lux Petite, Jamie, hello, she has just unboxed this bag. Now, it is the beautiful sequins from the Nano in a mini 1997 style baguette, and it's also coming in the regular size 1997 baguette. And Vintage Lover 87, I think her IG handle is, I will link it below, um, unboxed this one and compared it to the Fendi Purple Rain. It could still be on her stories. Hopefully she saved it. If she has, I'll put the details in my description, but it was a really interesting video. Now for me, these new style sequin baguettes just don't have the same finish on them as the Purple Rain does because the sequins are all round and I guess it's it doesn't they don't go right up to the edges. So they're a little bit like the Chanel Pearl bag in that regard where there are unfinished edges or exposed edges of satin underneath, which I don't know. It's just not as good a finish as the Purple Rain. But the colour is extraordinary. So that's coming in both the mini and the regular size in the 1997 style baguette. Here's where things get really good. Then we have the Fendi chain baguette, which is the new style of baguette that has the chain, so you can kind of wear it like um, a Chanel classic flap, I suppose. It's got the um, the grommets on the top, so you can kind of double chain it over your shoulder. Not sure that style is something that I want from a baguette. I've tried it a few times, but it does give you the option of wearing a baguette over the shoulder with a little bit of a difference in the, sh in the strap compared to the 1997 style. So this is coming in the lilac. Now, I don't know if it's going to be exactly the same color as this lilac or if it's going to be slightly darker. In the pictures, it does look darker, but you know, you can never really tell with pictures. And then we start to get into dangerous territory, dangerous territory for me, peekaboo territory. Because if you watched one of my recent videos, I can't remember which one it's in, I talked about this beautiful Celeria peekaboo in lilac that I decided to leave at Fendi because I bought the sequin baguette up the top. So did I say baguette then and peekaboo? I meant a lilac peekaboo because I bought the Sex and the City baguette. So guess what? I might get a second chance. So in this collection there is going to be what looks like a Nappa leather lilac baguette with gold hardware. If it is Nappa leather they don't have feet, they're a beautiful lambskin, they have really good, um, what do I want to call it, not endurance but it's a great lambskin, the Fendi lambskin. In fact, Melinda from Lux Purse Love has spoken about her Fendi Nappa leather peekaboo quite a bit and how perfect it is. Like the base of her bag is perfect and she wears it a lot and she uses it to travel and it's perfect. So, and Melinda, she, you know, she takes care of her bags, but she has a high standard and she speaks so highly about Fendi lambskin. So that's not a deterrent, but I do like feet on my bag. There is a little uh, Nappa leather uh, mini peekaboo. <laughs> I'm getting all excited. Oh. Um, but there is another one which is catching my eye and it is the peekaboo ICU in the small size. It has the tortoise shell um, closure. I do not have an ICU. I had been looking at the petite ICU in that very poppy color range that came out and it was just a little bit too small. This color, this style, uh, it speaks to me. It speaks to me. And I love that little tortoise shell, that, like that little something different. It's on my list. And then to cap off the beautiful lilac range, of course, it wouldn't be complete without a sunshine shopper tote. Now this, a few of you have seen on the socials and have been so lovely to DM me and send me all of this eye candy. Honestly, you're killing me with the eye candy. Um, but keep doing it because I love it. I love talking with you all about 
the new bags and how exciting it is to see the new seasons come through. I am not going to buy a leather Sunshine Shopper tote. I just don't think that it and I would get along very well. I love the handles. I love the shape, but I just think I'd kill it because of those corners and the structure of it, which is also why I don't have a Louis Vuitton on the go tote. Anyway, we're not talking about Louis Vuitton. Let's talk about Fendi firsts. <laughs> so in the Fendi first range, we have this like straw color Fendi first, and it's coming in the medium and the small. My dog, honestly. I've mentioned a few times that photographs of Fendi bags aren't the best. <laughs> Like you really need to see them in person. So I'm going to reserve my judgment on this, but it does look a little warm yellowy to me, um, but I'm sure it will be beautiful in person. So it's like a buttery, I'd say it's a straw color, I suppose. It's quite a natural color. I'm sure it will look much more beautiful in person. So if you are looking for a neutral Fendi first and the tan was a bit too much for you, this color might work. Also in the Fendi First, something super exciting. Again, I'm torn. I'm torn because I love everything about this, but I'm just not convinced on the color. So there is what looks like a woven raffia style Fendi First with the same leather trim as the Fendi First that I showed you before, but it could be. I don't know. It's hard to tell from this photo, but I am very interested in having a look at this Fendi first and it looks like it is in the small size. Moving on again to the Peekaboo ICU in the medium size, uh, we have the medium size ICU with laser cut leather in a white or ivory color with a kind of natural or a blushy pink interior. Um, that is a gorgeous bag. The craftsmanship on that bag is just superb light gold hardware yeah beautiful one of those ones that will really pop when you see it in person now <laughs> you know how i said i didn't want a leather fendi sunshine shopper tote well there are two fendi sunshine shopper totes left to show you one is a white laser cut leather sunshine shopper tote oh my god it is glorious. Um, this picture, it has the very subtle white on white Fendi Roma branding on the front. It's got that gorgeous tortoiseshell perspex, hand, perspex handles and it's transparent and it's beautiful. Like what a beautiful bag. Um, this bag is right up my alley. It's got texture. It is summer. It's fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, I need to see it. I need to see it and then finally another bag which I have shared on my stories and if you don't follow me on Instagram please do at Dale's Addiction is the woven raffia sunshine shopper tote with the black woven Fendi it looks like it's beads actually maybe it's not woven no it is woven um, with Fendi Roma on the front this is a really smart chic holiday vibes bag go to the market shopping type bag um it's glorious um carry on for a summer holiday bag oh, a very bougie beach bag maybe um certainly in the fendi mykonos or fendi grease kind of series of shoots on Fendi's Instagram this bag was like you know it was being used it was all slouchy it had kind of lost its shape and I really loved how it was styled in that way with a big beach towel in it and so I really want to see that one too the sensible side of me says that's ridiculous why would you buy that you don't need it you won't use it for work you wouldn't take it to the beach what would you use it for I don't know the heart wants what the heart wants. So I've got three, four, four picks from this collection that I want to look very closely at. So the chances are at least one of them will be making its way home to me, which makes me very glad that I did not go crazy for Fendachi when I really wasn't feeling it. But the more that I look at this little combo here, 
the more I'm really happy with my decision actually that both my black peekaboo and my white peekaboo look great with this little $330 wrappy that gives me all of the bits of Fendachi that I loved with just a touch of a price tag and uh, more to spend on the things that I'm waiting on. So tell me, what are you excited about in the next Fendi drop? Did you learn something about the wrappy tying situation? Because I certainly did. And remember to go and check out Malena's video because it's a great video. I think she's on about 700 and something subscribers. So it'd be good if you could go and show her some love. It's great to discover new YouTubers and show them some love and help her get to that magic thousand because she made a really great video and I'm sure she has a lot of other great videos as well. So that's it from me. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.